o'clock and you need the coat on. Muggy. Well, I got back from my holiday about three days ago, four days ago, and um, yeah, it was really great. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna talk about it, show you some bits and pieces. I'm in Ilfa Coombe, where I fancy a little coastal walk. Well, I just gotta use a normal, I just gotta go into a proper space then, haven't I? Right, okay, have it your way. So yeah, the, uh, the coastal walk, I can come back and do it in drag form because it's only up the road from me, which is nice. Squirrel! Not that I'm easily distracted. The coastal footpath, here we go. So yeah, my holiday. There was, um, there was a bit of rain. I didn't get off scot-free. So it's what, you know, to be expected, I guess. If you can do four or five days consecutive sunny days here in England, that's a good, that's a good week. I have, I have seen the forecast and I am getting wet. I am going to get rained on at some point in the next four days. Kept it quite casual today. Just a jumper. It is just a jumper. So calm. Well, I, went, I, I started obviously. I started off in basketball. I rode to the Cheddar Gorge. I, I, you might remember me saying all this in a previous video. I've actually done it now, so I know exactly where I went. So I went to the went down the Cheddar Gorge. Then I went into mine head to Porlock. Porlock to Lynmouth. That is a crack of it. The A39. Love it. <laughs> So from Ilfaku, where we are now, I went straight to Barnstable, uh, avoiding, well not avoiding, just, I just don't want to go there. I, I know the road really well. I, I'm not going to see anything new or interesting for, to me. So avo avoiding Willacombe, Croydon, Braunton. So from Barnstable, it was on to the Atlantic. Oh, by the way, I got a flipping ticket, didn't I? 38 and a 30 piss right off but I went through Bude stopped in at Bude got a cup of tea and some bits and pieces um, then from Bude it was to Foss Castle and where I pitched up for the night got myself a bottle of wine as you do uh, 15 quid not too bad you know at least it had a table this pitch and I took a look around Tintagel uh, Tintagel Castle was actually closed, but I managed to look around some of the bits of it. All these stairs are not usually a problem for me, but at the moment I'm wearing all my bike gear and some extras because it was a bit crap this morning. I can see the... Wow. I can't get much further than that, it's a bit wet, but... Then from Tintagel, I went into Newquay, very popular place, um, full of tourists, even this time of year. At Newquay, had some breakfast in a Weatherspoons, didn't bother filming that because the hay fever had taken hold and to be fair, I looked pretty rough. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, the hay fever followed me all the way around. From St Ives down to Land's End, which is basically just a massive car park, really. I thought I gave myself loads of time, but too, uh, too much fannying around on bloody back lanes. 0.8 mile to 30 yards. That's not really fair, is it? Fuck's sake. Penzance, uh, I pretty much had to shoot all the way to St. Austell. So I had, um, I had a hotel in Paynton. I couldn't believe it, 38 quid. Which I thought was an absolute bargain. <laughs> Ugh. 
Blimey. So yeah, I got to Lyme Regis on the Thursday and then I looked on the uh, app on my phone and there was a massive weather front coming in for the Friday. And uh, although I had more time to take, I, uh, I didn't really want to be sort of putting my tent down with it all soaking wet. And then from wherever I end up, having to ride all the way back home in the rain and it did rain as well so I was um I had to bail out on my last day I remember I said the um day four was going to be a bit of a freestyle but I'm glad I kept it as a freestyle because my freestyle was go home <laughs> oh, it is warm um, I haven't tried, I haven't been doing any knee down anything because to be fair, well, I've been away and the weather's been crap and I've had to sort my, my fire blade out. It had this kind of real bad sort of like shakiness going on, you know, when the, when the disc brakes are warped. So I've had to, more fixing the fire blade. I've only got an hour on the car, so I can't stay out here too long. But I'm gonna get back to the car and then have a bit of a change and uh, I'll be back. Well, it's got a lot of people here now, so better not cause too much of attention. So this is the, um, I mean you've seen this tartan, but with the shiny, the shiny top as well. So I'm talking a bit quieter because it's busy. <laughs> it's people moving around. It's so funny. Could be worse. I could have gone for the uh, seven and a half inch denim. That could have been worse. I think the sun's facing that way. Try it that way. So I, I am slap bang in the middle of a car park here. Down. Get more focus on the more focus on the shoes. There we go. We'll uh, we'll do the denim skirt in a minute. Okay, put the denim one on. We'll team this with the denim. Last one for today. I know the uh, the denim skirt is popular, along with the heels. <laughs> so funny, all the golfers sit there watching. So, uh, yeah, hang on, we do one more. <laughs> it's ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> that was a good laugh, that was a good laugh. Actually, um, some people in a white car turned up, saw the camera, and then left again. Oh, but the, is it the camera that made them go, or was it me? I don't know, probably me. Maybe a bit of both, but did make me laugh. Anyway, I've got to go work. Ciao.